in this video we are going to go over the test setup requirements and waveform verification for MIL standard CS116 at 1 MHz. For today's test, I'm going to be using the EMC Partner MIG 2000-6 generator mainframe along with CS116-10K10M waveform module, a calibration fixture, a multi-port coupling device, 50 ohm termination, a high voltage attenuator, and an oscilloscope. Before the EMC Partner MIG 2000-6 is capable of doing any testing, the safety interlock needs to be installed on the rear auxiliary port of the instrument, like so. Next, I'm going to show you the process of setting up for waveform verification. I am installing my coupling device into my calibration fixture. Now that my coupling device is installed into the calibration fixture, I'm going to connect my high voltage 50 ohm termination to the left side of the calibration fixture. The next step is connecting my high voltage attenuator to the right side of the calibration fixture. Now that my calibration fixture is properly set up, I'm going to install interconnect cable from the output of my waveform module. To the input of my coupling device. Our final connection is going to be from the output of the high voltage attenuator to the input of the oscilloscope. To power up the unit, you need to turn on the mains power supply located on the back along with the on standby button in the front. Before we can continue on with any testing, we need to verify that the safety circuit is in the closed position. We do this by pulling out the emergency stop switch. Now that we have verified the safety circuit is in the closed position, it's time to select the correct waveform for testing. Today we are going to use MIL standard 461E at 1 MHz. To select this, you press the up and down arrows until the correct waveform is highlighted, then the enter key. Next is adjusting our current amplitude. This waveform module provides an adjustable current from 1 amp to 15 amps. For today's test, we are using 5 amps. <laughs> to start the test, I need to press run on the high voltage control to start charging the capacitors, which will only take a moment. We know that the charge is completed when the trigger button lights up. To output the pulse, we need to press the trigger button. Now we have captured the waveform for analysis.